Hello everyone, I hope you enjoyed our last couple videos from Europe and uh, I'm going to continue with these but today is going to be a little bit different. Uh, some of you guys are asking uh, how do I edit my videos, teach me how to edit videos. As you might know I edit videos in Adobe Premiere Pro and this is really quite expensive software. So you're also asking, please teach me something that is completely free. This video is going to be all about video editing for the beginners. If you're not into video editing, please return back uh, on the next video. So I was reached by a company who uh, creates a software called VSDC. And I actually tested the free version of their software and it turned out pretty good. So I decided to teach you guys uh, how to edit videos uh, in VSDC. First of all, you go to the website videosoftdev.com where you can download free version of this uh, VSDC software. Then you have to install this software uh, on, your, on your PC or laptop. I'm going to start with the blank project. You can click here or you can click new project right here. So project title is my first video and pay attention to this part. This is re resolution and frame rate. If you want the result uh, in 1080, put full HD here. It's actually, uh, as you can see, it supports also 4K. And then I'm going to choose 30 frames per second. I click finish. So when you first open uh, the program, it will look like this. I will close a couple of these windows to make the space a little bit bigger. If you want later put these windows back, then you click on the tabs right here at the top on view and there is properties window which was on the right side originally and objects Ex explorer which was on the left side. But I don't want these right now. So first of all I would like to import uh, my video files. You go up here and switch to editor tab then add object and you can see here a bunch of things. You can add video files but also audio, image, uh, some subtitles. So I'm gonna choose video. This file. And you can choose where in the timeline you want to put it. At the beginning of the whole timeline or to the, to the end. Or I would choose from cursor point. The selected video clip appeared here in the timeline. Okay, I usually don't add uh, one clip uh, after another, I just uh, throw everything to the timeline and then I choose directly from the timeline uh, which clips uh, I want to leave and uh, which scenes I, I'm going to delete. Now let's see how, how to import uh, multiple clips. I'm going to delete this one, I'm going to select and press delete. Here's a little shortcut how to import uh, video files a little bit faster. Uh, if you click here on uh, add object you have here these little icons and you can see that these same icons are here so instead of adding object like this I would just go here click on add video and then I'm gonna select all these files hit open and here appears a little bit different dialogue if you decide that you want you want to delete some clips you can uh, you can click on this cross you can also add some transitions uh, in between the clips. I click apply settings and it creates something what they call sprite. Sprite is like all clips put together, but we actually want to work uh, with the single video clips. So I double click on sprite one and drag this a little bit up so I have more space. And then I can move in the timeline. As you can see, it imported all the clips to the timeline and each clip is in a different layer. Also frequently use this uh, zooming in and zooming out on the timeline. If you if you hit minus and plus signs on the keyboard it uh, it's gonna work as well. Now I am going to choose which video clips will stay which I'm gonna delete. Always keep your story in mind this is the main thing and uh, you should choose always the video clips which fits into your story. So I'm going to go through the clips real quick, dragging this this uh, cursor. And that's how I choose which clips are going to stay. But if I actually want to see the video clip in uh, normal speed, I must hit preview. Okay, so this is a nice clip, this will stay. For example, I decide that uh, I don't want to use this clip 
So I'm gonna delete this one. So I click on it, press delete. Then when you delete the clip, it creates a little black space. So you would need to move all other clips a little bit closer like this. You can actually work with the with the single clips really easily. Just you, you can just click on it and, and move it anywhere in the timeline as you wish. And the other thing is that the clips which are at the bottom has higher priority. And you can see that I put this clip a little over the clip at the bottom. Typically in Adobe Premiere Pro, for example, you would see this clip which is at the top. But in, in this case, in VSDC, you will see the, the higher priority clip is at the bottom. So now if you want to change the priority and move this clip, I just click on the clip, go to edit and move down. It actually moves up, but down is meant probably that uh, you put it under uh, the other clip, under this one, you know. So I have just chosen the, the clips uh, which fits to my story and the next uh, thing I usually do is cutting out the bad parts and uh, leaving the best. Here I have really long video clip and I, I want to use just small part of it, just a few seconds. And I need to select the part which I want to delete. So this way I'm trying to find the position where should be the cut, where my husband start to ski really aggressively. I'm dragging it, dragging and let's say it's here. So this part, which is right now selected, uh, I want to delete uh, this part out. And you, you need to go to this tab at the, at the top, editor, and here you have these scissors. If you click on them, you can see that the part was deleted. I'm gonna show you actually the faster way. Let's do undo. If you press Control and delete, it's gonna do the same thing. The next uh, thing you might wanna do is splitting the clips. I'm gonna find the position where I wanna split the clips. I'm going to editor, here is split into parts. So I'm gonna click on that. As you can see, the clip was divided into two layers. The next step I like to do is uh, see if there are some nice shows, for example, uh, my kid's face expression or some uh, some kind of activity where I want to do slow motion. So here we have my daughter really nicely smiling and I want to do this slow motion. So I click on that clip then I need to go to view tab here and click on properties window. Here are several different properties of, of this video clip. There is speed. You can see that there is 100% so I want to try 50. And you can already see that the, the clip is longer, and let's see. Usually when you do slow motion, you can notice that the sound is really weird then. I want to lower uh, the audio level. I again click on the clip, and here is audio volume. So I drag this down a little bit. Sometimes I do... Uh, voice over uh, some b-roll footage as I'm talking to you on the camera and suddenly I put there some kind of video and you still hear my voice. So what you need to do is to somehow separate audio part and video part. So let's click on that clip and then here is split to video and audio. Uh, you can see that here's a new layer with the voice. So I can cut out the part of the video. I'm selecting the, the part which I want to cut out, press Ctrl Delete, and I will put there some part where she, where she is skiing. I'm going to put there this part, I press Edit, and then down, right here. So let's let's see how it looks. What are you doing, Jenny? Also, you might want to add some music to the video, so let's see how to do this. Click this icon, I'm going to choose the music file, hit open. I want to place it from the beginning of the whole timeline. And you can see the song right here. So I want to end the music right here, where my all my video clips end. Select the part I want to delete, then press Ctrl Delete. But what happens here that the song will end up suddenly? Let's check some uh, fade out effect. Right click on the song, audio effects, amplitude, fade out. And I'm going to place it at the end of the timeline and set the duration to 5 seconds. And I click OK. 
And here it creates a little object and I need to go back to the timeline, including this sprite. And then seeing how it works. But now you're grateful and singing alone. Hey, Another thing uh, I like to do usually is uh, adding some title or subtitles. I'm going to click here, title, text, and I'm going to place the title right at the beginning. I want a short duration, let's say five seconds. Okay, you can see this little cross, so if you drag it, you will create a space for the text. Hit editor here at the top, skiing trip in Colorado. Let's make it a little bit bigger, let's change the, the font, and here we go. Uh, lots of the videos where uh, there, there is some activity and I do not place the camera on the tripod. Uh, these shots are then really shaky, so it needs to be stabilized. I'm going to click on the clip, press tools, and here is video stabilization. It says that uh, to make use of stabilization, upgrade your editor to Pro. You can fully use the program, but there are some functions which are actually in the paid version. And one of the things, stabilization. So I have just activated my, my Pro version, and uh, let's see how it works to click video stabilization. It seems that I cannot directly stabilize the clip in the timeline, so I would need to choose a file. It was this one. And now I will export and it's going to take some while. It's a little bit less straightforward. I wish that they, they have this directly, you know, that you can you can stabilize directly the clip in the timeline. Okay, so the conversion was finished. Now I need to add the video clip here. And it's this one. And I want to place it uh, to the position where cursor is. It's right here. And I want to move it, move it a little bit up to the right position. So I, I go to edit tab and press actually down. I can switch off the video here. And let's see. So this was the stabilized part, and if we see the original, more shaky. I also discovered a nice feature of this pro version. So let's go to this music layer and click here and click show waveform. And here you can actually see all the beats in the music and all the changes. What I often do is editing uh, the, my videos to fit the music. When uh, there is a beat, I, I do the cut at this exact place. I will move the clip right here, you know, to, to fit the beat. Then the next beat might be right here, so I will fit here. The one last uh, thing I, I want to mention and what I do with my videos is uh, color grading and color corrections. For example, as you can see this GoPro footage, I, I shoot with a flat color profile and it would need a little more contrast or color. So what I'm going to do, and this is part of the free uh, version, you don't have to have paid version to do this. I right click on the video file, video effects, and here you have bunch of different things like contrast, several different filters and transformations. And you can also use these quick styles. So let's try these auto levels. One last thing we need to do is export the project. You can see uh, several different formats. You can use the web. There are some presets if you use it for YouTube, for Instagram, for Facebook. I don't know actually where I'm gonna use it, so I would do this PC and probably stick with Avi. And then I'm going to hit export project. So this is it. Uh, this is how I edit the videos and uh, I hope you learn how to how to edit videos in VSDC. If you're still here, I have a little gift for you. Uh, the company who uh, which creates VSDC is willing to provide a pro version to one of you guys. So all you have to do is uh, leave a comment under this video with the hashtag uh, giveaway and please let me know uh, what kind of videos uh, do you love to make?
Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you next time. We will continue with our uh, series from uh, Europe, from uh, Czech Republic.